Yo. I got some pretty dope surgery. That's helped me out a ton. And that's it. <laughs> I got my surgery uh, for my nasal polyps, which I got after a sinus infection. Which I got at, or well, I didn't get them after. I we found out about them because I had a sinus infection. And basically, I went to the ears, nose, throat doctor. And these have been fucking with me for years, uh, potentially like longer than five years. Uh, my breathing was at like essentially like twenty five percent. My asthma was expect like suspected to be about three times worse because of it. Um, it gave me like lethargic tendencies because I, of my inability to do things. My stamina was fucked, uh, obviously. Um, there's all these fucking things, right? It's a whole thing and everything's interconnected. It gives you headaches, gives you fucking this, that, the other thing. Uh, I had... Uh, for, on first look, like, he looked into my nose, and he's like, yeah, it's beyond severe. Like, I don't normally recommend people to go to surgery, like, after a first visit or, like, right away, but you 100%, after literally looking up my nose for two seconds, he said I needed to get surgery. Um, and he said it, it looks beyond severe, just from a first glance, and he couldn't get further in because the polyps were blocking it. After getting a CAT scan... It turns out in my sinuses, there were no airways. The only way I was able to breathe through my nose was when I was forcing air in and out. Um, so if I'm not actively doing it, not, if I have any, like, congestion whatsoever, there's no air happening. At all. Uh, there would literally be zero air. Um, so on my CAT scan, it showed there's, there's like, absolutely nothing for airways. Um, but I got the surgery. And everything feels hunky dory, honestly. Uh, <laughs> I already feel amazing. I can breathe out my nose way better. Uh, I'm coughing up blood a lot, uh, but it, it's just like blood boogers, as gross as that is. Um, it's just going to happen for a while. All the polyps have been taken out. I can breathe better already. My stamina is already higher. I haven't had to use my inhaler, my albuterol, once since the operation already, even. Uh, I already feel better. My stamina feels better. Uh, I'm in a bit of p light pain. But I got fucking painkillers if I fucking need them. Right? Like, I, I'm just kind of out here right now. Uh, and I haven't felt this good in years. Literally years. I, did you know? So, I didn't know this until uh, exactly the day of my surgery. Uh, you can breathe in your nose when you have a nosebleed. Didn't know that. Didn't know that till now. And you might be thinking like, oh, well, how the fuck, like, if it's only been going on five years. Apparently nasal polyps can continue throughout your entire, the entirety of your life. The severity of it is uh, entirely based around how you are in your growth periods. And since my body's not growing anymore, there's nothing happening that deals with the nasal polyps. Being my nose expanding, like, my body countering it or whatever the hell. Um, like, the polyps have always probably been there throughout the entirety of my life, potentially, and been limiting me, and it is the hugest burden off my fucking shoulders. It, it's ridiculous. It is... I, I am... It's been two days since my surgery, and I already feel this fucking amazing. I felt amazing the day of my surgery. I could breathe through my nose. I hadn't been able to do that for a while. And I, I, I was able to breathe through my nose reliably to go to sleep. I was breathing through my nose the entirety of the time. I immediately was breathing through my nose better than I can ever have remembered of breathing through my nose. Literally, like, I, I can't remember a time I was breathing through my nose better. Uh, besides after the surgery. It's ridiculous. It, it, it's just... I went shopping with my dad. Uh, I can't carry anything over like 15 pounds, so he came with me and all that stuff, and regardless, he just wanted to check up on me, because I stayed at his house uh, the night of my surgery, just that way, because I was obviously weak and shit, and this, that, the other, and uh, it was ridiculous. It, I, I felt amazing, and it turns out, 
as it were. Uh, not only did I have beyond severe nasal polyps, um, I potentially had the worst case of nasal polyps in that hospital's history. Uh, I definitely had the worst case of nasal polyps in uh, that doctor's history. So, when I get sick, apparently I get fucking sick. Uh, when I get fucky, I apparently get fucking fucky. And it was just, it was absolute hell. And I was putting up with that. I was cutting grass because of, like, all my properties and shit. Um, I was, like, g going around downtown, going, like, county to county, walking, like, you know, like, a quarter mile to and from my car where I was parking for, because I would park for free and shit. And even during like mask mandate during winter, uh, if like going up, uh, the stairs of the courthouse or of the recorder's office, my mask would, you know, have the fucking hot air blow straight into my glasses. My glasses would always fog up. I would be absolutely exhausted by the time I got upstairs. Um, and my glasses would be fogging up, and I remember, like, that whole thing. And I don't think that that would, that would be a problem anymore. I don't think I'd be facing a problem like that right now anymore. It's ridiculous. How good I feel. I feel absolutely amazing. Like, I I, I wanted to go, like, on a walk the, the night of my surgery. Like, it wasn't, like, the meds talking or anything, because I hadn't taken meds yet. Hey, look, an unusual, finally. Is... I definitely wanted to get an unusual for this update, but, you know. At least it's an unusual. But, like, I, I, I hadn't taken my meds, my painkillers or anything like that. That was just me talking. Uh, I might have been a little bit loopy because it was, you know, post-surgery. But I, I, it, it had been, like, six hours since I woke up. And I was just like, I wish I could go out and take a walk. And I can't go out, uh, especially when it's, like, unusual. Damn. Uh, <laughs> I can't go out, especially when it's, like, rainy and stuff like that. Because uh, I, I, I'm going to cough up a bunch of blood from my nose. Because it's going to get the whole, like, the whole runny feeling. And everything's going to be damp and all that. And it's, like, kind of rainyish outside. And, like, uh, humid and shit. Uh, but going forward, it, it, this is this is amazing. It's 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 astounding to me. How amazing I feel, and and it's just a new door open, and I'm super excited. So I wanted to share it, so I decided to open up a bunch of boxes. I've opened uh, what, like forty? Oh God, I've I've opened forty-seven or so now, <laughs> and uh, only gotten that one unusual taunt. Yikes! But it is what it is. I I just kind of wanted to open up a bunch of boxes and talk uh, to you guys because this this is. Absolutely, I, I'm just ecstatic. I'm sure you can fucking tell. I, I'm just kind of bragging at this point, honestly. If anything, I'm showing off, and I'm bragging. I, I'm sure you've been able to realize the fact that I've been congested, if you've been watching other videos. Uh, like, I've been congested for a while, and a very long time. Uh, I might sound a little bit congested right now, but that it's just the blood in my nose, because it's just gonna keep do that's just going to keep happening. I had to have, like, gauze taped to the bottom of my nose, like in a little pouch before because it's just bleeding out but it's just that's normal uh after this kind of a surgery but um i'm just i the only reason why i'm even making this the only reason why i'm doing all this right now i'm spending like what like a hundred bucks right now <laughs> just to brag that i'm feeling amazing for once like absolutely i feel amazing and it's i'm just so happy and i just can't wait for for like what's to come because like I've gained a bit of weight because of, like, the lethargic tendencies and, like, mixed with, like, minor depressive states and shit like that. Unusual? No. Damn. Uh, like, and all that. It's really annoying because, like, the inability to do something creates that whole mentality and it fucks with your mind and it's a whole thing, apparently. And it's all interconnected with your, 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 your head and this, like, a bunch of fucking stupid shit. But, uh, like, I already feel better. I already feel like I want to be active. I already feel like I can be active. I'll probably be able to go back and be active after this. Like, it's... Like, I'll, I'll, I'll lose the stupid weight that I put on. I'll, I'll be able to go out and do the things I like without having to worry about things like my asthma or, like, my stamina and stuff like that. Uh, it just... 
it explains so much. And I'm just... It's just a, a, a new door is open in the future. It, it, that, that wasn't the right phrase, but you know what I mean. There, there's a... The, the, hundreds of opportunities have opened for me now. And no, none of them are apparently unusual <laughs> in the close. But, like, you know... This is a really shit unboxing, by the way. I'm I'm not gonna not gonna fib. That was like an absolutely awful unboxing. Uh, this is like actually a decent taunt, but it's just this was an absolutely awful unboxing. But oh, I'm just ecstatic. <laughs> I I'm I'm just so happy. I I wanted to unbox. Uh, I didn't even plan on unboxing anymore, but I just feel so good. Because I, I was actually going to, like, wait for, like, the summer event eventually and unbox those and then wait for the rest of my shit, uh, you know, for Halloween and shit. But that, I, I just I just wanted to get an unusual and talk. I guess I could have stopped when I got the unusual, but I was a wee bit hopeful that I could, like, clickbait with an unusual. That way I could get my story out there more. I don't know. I, like I said, I just want to brag right now. So a good unusual would have clickbaited and then... I would have been able to brag to more people, basically. <laughs> but I, I, I don't know. I'm just excited. I'm happy as fuck. I, I, I just, I don't know. This is, I don't know how else to put it. I'm just super happy, and hopefully I can brag to you guys, and you guys listen to this whole story, and uh, you guys are happy for me. And I'll see you around. I don't know how to end this, really, besides just say I'll see you around, and, you know, I, I hope you guys are doing well. <laughs>